guys, this is your girl QB and welcome to another On The Go. It's been three months since I've been on the gram and I really wanted to just bring you up to speed with what I've been up to. Now, you might remember a couple months back, Angel and I did a vlog about our move to Dubai. Um, we were in the bed, we've been super lazy and we were telling you what we've been up to. Angel talked about Kite Beach, she talked about going to school in Dubai, she talked about our new apartment and that was super, super cool. But this one, I wanna talk about being a woman in business in Dubai and what are some of the places that I've been discovering and some of the people I've been meeting and some of the things that I think you should do if you're in business and you're looking to come to Dubai. So first thing is that you need to know that Dubai is split up into different they call them cities but really they're like little areas okay they have the internet city as an example they have technology city they have a place called DIFC they have the design district which is where I've just been working all day now one of the things that I love about the design district is that it is full of really creative people my introduction to design district was with a company that is a phenomenal fashion brand designed by Michael Cinco. I remember the first time I walked up and I was like, hold on a minute, what is going on here? It was a one-way show outside with all of these fabulous MORTs and X-Packs and Michael Cinco was showcasing his men's collection for 2022. So D3 is the short way of saying design district, is made up of amazing people like Michael Cinco and other designers. So if you are in the creative sector, you might wanna be hanging out there. But then equally, there are other things that I like. For example, Dubai has an array of private members clubs. And the private members club that I affiliate with, the one that I've done lots of business with, is the Capital Club. Now, Capital Club is in the IFC, which is really the kind of business hub of um, Dubai. It's a little bit like the Canary Wharf of London or the Liverpool Street of London. It's a little bit like the Wall Street of New York, right? It's where all of the suits and boots kind of hang out. And Capital Club is one of these private members club that if you want to reach executives of the C-suite, this is the place to go. Now, I had the honor with a really good friend of mine called Lara to interview some of Dubai's top women in business at the Capital Club. So let's just pause for the cause and check out a tiny little clip from one of these interviews. We are with an amazing, incredible, inspirational, motivational, I would call her role model, uh, not only in the society here, but I think across the world. Today we are sitting with none other than the first female aeronautical engineer, and of course we're talking about none other than Dr. Engineer Saad Al Shamsi. Hello and a very warm welcome. Thank you. I'm between uh, two and amazing ladies and um, most pretty I ever uh, met. Um, thank you. And I hope everyone will love this interview. I've been in the industry for 22 years. I decided to be an aircraft engineer because I don't have an option previously. As a woman, we have an option to be in medical or management. So I wanted to show the world that the Arab woman and any woman in the world can be what she wanted to be. Because I do believe if you can dream it, you can do it, you can achieve it, and you can enjoy it. Uh, when I started from 22 years, people think like a couple of months, you will fed up, you will resign, you don't want to continue. When I start knocking the door after my high school, uh, 12th grade, they, they take it as a job. They take it like, you cannot be. Because of my image, I was overweight. And because I, I don't know how to speak English, I never speak English like unfluent, uh, fluent English. It was very basic. And because the field as aeronautical engineering is very tough field. You have to wear uniform, safety shoes, working in different timing. So today where I am, I am trying to show the world that Arab woman, any woman can be what she want to be. And teaching a student and holding this degree and a lot of titles, I said it's nice, but the most important how you help the other, the new generation, because it's the time for them after our retirement. 
How amazing is that woman, right? One of the beautiful things about working and interviewing and meeting some of these amazing women in Dubai is that it dispels the myth that so many of us have outside of the Middle East that women in the Middle East who are Muslim, that they are somehow suppressed or they're not ambitious or they're not given the room to be entrepreneurial. That is a lie from the devil, <laughs> okay? Because the women I'm meeting, woo, they are doing their thing. Now, talking about women doing their thing, another thing that you should know about in Dubai is that not only do they have private members clubs for C-suite, but they also have private members clubs for women. And in places like Sharjah, which is one of the other Emirates, they also have private members clubs there, like the Sharjah Business Women's Club. So if you're a woman in business and you're thinking, I want to join a club that's specifically for women, I recommend you check out these clubs. Equally, there are places for you to just do business and network that's not necessarily a club. Maybe you think, actually, I don't want to join a club right now. I don't want to pay for the membership. Where else can I hang out, Kubi? Well, I got you. One of my favorite spots is Intercept by Lexus. Intercept by Lexus is owned by Lexus, the car brand, and it is their restaurant. And it recently reopened in DIFC, and yours truly had the privilege of attending the launch party at Intercept by Lexus. So let's take a little sneak peek at the launch. I don't know about you, but the car, the decor, the food, oh, so fabulous. Intercept by Lexus is one of these places that you can go, you can have, have lunch, you can go and have dinner, you can bring a client, you can do your own networking event there. And so, yeah, I'd recommend that you go and check it out. Now, there's a couple of other places that, you know, as I've been in Dubai, I had to wipe them on my phone for you, okay? So one of them is Villa Restaurant. Villa Restaurant is literally a villa old style Emirati villa that has been turned into a restaurant and a hangout area. And you can go there and you can spend the whole day there if you want a quiet place to be able to work from, if you want somewhere where you can just, you know, entertain a client, it's phenomenal. Villa restaurant is absolutely beautiful. But it's not the only place in Dubai that allows for a cool workout area. Dubai, like places like New York and London, also have co-working spaces for you. And the place that we're actually driving to now is one of these co-working spaces that I want to introduce you to. So check out this amazing co-working space. amazing is that place like to have a co-working space where you can yes of course you can work but you can also go into meditation you can go into the spa you can go into the sauna you can go to the swimming pool you can play squash like just absolutely beautiful and you know for me a lot of people have asked me like Kubi are you coming back home to England and the short answer is no <laughs> not anytime soon you know Dubai is one of these places that they are welcoming expats to come here and set up shop they have visas for women in business they have visas for freelancers they even have visas for those of you who maybe are working for a company in the UK or in the US but you want to be based in Dubai listen the tourist board is not paying for me to do this vlog so let me not over plug it and let me just conclude by saying this I'm having a lot of fun and as I go on this journey both with my Myself as a woman in business but also as a mum I promise to take you along with me so I'll see you next time this was your girl Kubi this is <laughs>